So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So ito po yung karugtong ng lesson natin or discussion natin on uh, illustrating sectors and segments. So which is illustrating tangents and seconds of circles. So yung sectors and segments, hinahati niya yung circle. So into parts. And then yung tangents and seconds naman, ito naman po yung mga lines drawn to circle. So drawn in a circle. So, for our lesson objectives, so we will illustrate tangents and seconds of a circle. And then, we will differentiate common ex internal tangents from common external tangents. And then finally, we will illustrate segments of intersecting chords, tangents, and seconds. So, let's have an activity. Observe the three figures below. So, ayan. So, ano po ang mapapansin natin sa first figure? As you can see, meron tayo dyang circle which is circle C. ba? So, ayan. Center which is C. And then, meron tayong straight line na AB. So, ano ang napapansin natin? So, hindi po sila magkadikit. Okay. So, yung AB, yung line AB, hindi po siya nakadikit sa circle C. While, yung figure 2 naman, so, ayan, meron po tayong uh, circle, which is circle D. And then, meron tayo ditong line na nakadikit sa uh, circle. So, which is line EG. And then, yung uh, center natin is katapat mismo nung point. So, yung midpoint ng uh, line EG, which is F. So, ayan, pwede tayong mag drawing dyan ng radius. And then, yung last figure natin, so, anong pinagkaiba ng first two figure, uh, first, uh, second figure sa last figure? So, yung line dito sa figure 2 is nakadrawing sa labas. Although, nakadikit sa circle. And then, yung figure 3 naman, so, there are two lines wherein drawn sila inside a circle. So, sa loob ng circle. And then, in-intersect nila yung mga points. So, ayan. So, yung mga lines natin na yan, line HI and line KL. So, para mas maintindihan nyo po yan, yung mga lines na yan, like for example, yung figure 2 and figure 3, i-discuss ko po yan. So, yung una natin is tangents of a circle. So, if a line intersect a circle in exactly one point, then it is a tangent line. It does not pass through the interior of the circle. So, yung figure 2 natin kanina is an example of tangents of a circle. So, wherein, wherein yung tangent line natin is line EG. So, based from the definition of tangent line, so it is a line intersect a circle in exactly one point. So, yung point na yon na tinutukoy natin na in-intersect niya is point F. And then, it does not pass through the, the interior of the circle. So, nakadrawing po yung tangent line sa labas. Nakadikit mismo nung circle. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na point of tangency. So, the intersection point of the circle and the tangent line is called the point of tangency. So, intersection point ng circle saka yung tangent line. So, which is, ayun nga, point of tangency is point F. So, therefore, pwede natin isulat na line EG is tangent to Circle D at point F. Okay. So, kung i-coconnect kasi natin yung uh, point of tangency tsaka yung center ng circle, magpo-form po yan ng perpendicular bisector. Okay. So, yung radius ng mismong circle. Magpo-form siya ng 90 degrees. So, yan lang po yung tangent line. So, we also have common tangents. So, when a line is tangent to two circles, 
it is considered as common tangents. There are two types of common tangents, namely common internal tangents and common external tangents. So internal sa loob, external sa labas. So let's have common internal tangents. So common internal tangents are tangent lines that intersect segments joining the centers of the two circles. So yan po yung example ng illustration ng common internal tangents. So ayan po, as you can see, yung dalawang tangent lines natin, so ini-intersect na nila yung segments joining the centers of the circle. So yung dalawang centers ng circle dyan are circle S, ay point S, and point E. Okay, so in-intersect nila yung segment. So kung magdadrawing kasi tayo ng segment, i-intersect nung dalawang tangent lines na yun, yung Uh, segment na yon. So, ano yung mga common internal in internal tangents na pwede nating identify sa figure? So, we have tangent line IT and tangent line NR. So, we can name it as uh, line TI or line RN. So, pwede naman pagbalik rin yung letra. So, line IT and Line NR are common internal tangents. So, basta ini-intersect nila yung, yung segments na nadudraw dun sa dalawang center ng circles na yon, common internal tangents yon. And then, yung kabaligtaran ng common internal tangents is common external tangents. So, kapag naman hindi niya ini-intersect yung segments joining the center of the two circles, common external tangents yan. As you can see, ayan, hindi po in-intersect nung dalawang tangent lines yung segments na nag-join dun sa dalawang center ng circle, circle G and U. So, yung mga common external tangents na pwede nating identify dito sa figure natin. So, line FI and line RE. So, are what we call common external tangents. So, I hope naging clear sa inyo ang difference ng common external tangents and common internal tangents. Basta hindi ini-intersect yung segments na nag-join yung center ng circle, common external yon. Kapag ini-intersect yung segment joining the two cent uh, centers of the two circles, common internal tangents. So, let's now move on to seconds of a circle. So, a, a second line intersects a circle in two points. Unlike tangent lines, second lines pass through the interior of the circle. In addition, a second line contains the chord of a circle. So, yan po yung illustration ng uh, second line na dinodraw inside a circle. So, based sa definition ng second line, ini-intersect niya yung circle in two points. So, yung mga two points na yan, like for example, we have a uh, line, a second line HI. So, yung points na sinasabi natin dyan, na in-intersect niya, point H and point I. And then, yung uh, isa nating second line, KL, ini-intersect niya yung point K, tsaka L. And then, unlike tangent lines, second lines pass through the interior of the circle. So, ayan. So, nagpa-pass siya sa loob ng circle. So, kasi yung tangent line, uh, magkadikit lang sila mismo nung a circle. And then, in addition, a second line contains the chord of a circle. So, yung chord, ito po yung line segment na kung saan yung mga endpoints nasa uh, paikot ng circle. So, yung chord natin dito is line segment HI and uh, line segment KL. So, sulat lang natin yung second lines. So, kahit na pareho ang letra, magbe-base pa rin po tayo dun sa symbol na ginamit. So, second line, HI, 
N line KL. So, yan po yung second lines. Doon naman sa chord, line segment po yan. So, line segment HI and line segment KL. So, kung titignan po natin, pareho lang po yung mga letters na ginamit, nagkaiba lang po sa symbol dahil magkaiba po ang second lines sa chord. Second lines, line sila. So, meron silang arrowhead, chord naman, line segment. So, segment lang sila. So, let's now move on to segments of intersecting chords. So, intersecting chords are two chords of the same circle that intersect a particular or sometimes at the center. If two chords intersect at the center, then these chords are diameters of the given circle. So, ayan. So, yun po yung figure natin ng segments of intersecting chords. So, yung chords na yun, nag intersect sila sa loob ng isang circle. And then, kapag yung chords na yon nag-intersect sila sa gitna, sa center ng circle, so yung mga chords na yon diameters po yun ng given circle. So, tandaan natin, diameter is a chord. It is the longest chord of a circle. So, pero dito, hindi naman po ini-intersect ng chords yung center. So, wala naman pong center na nakalagay dyan. So, yung mga uh, intersecting chords na tinutukoy ko, Line segment AD and line segment BC are what? Are intersecting chords. So, nag-intersect sila sa anong point? Point E. Ayan, sa gitna. And then, nung dinivide nung uh, dalawang chords na yon yung segment, So, nabuo po yung mga uh, segments. So, ayan. So, yung sa segment or line segment AD, mabubuo po dyan yung segment AE and segment ED. Ayan. And then, dito naman sa uh, line segment uh, BC, So, mabubuo dyan yung line segment BE, tsaka line segment EC. So, yan lang po yung segments of intersecting chords. So, makikita nyo po yung segments of intersecting chords, yung application niya sa susunod na video lesson. So, para mas maintindihan natin yung concept na yan. So, next is tangent segments and second segments. So, meron tayong tangent lines, meron din po tayo uh, second segments. So, a tangent segment is a line segment that touches a circle at one point in particular. So, ang pinagkaiba lang po ng tangent segment sa tangent line is wala yung arrowhead. Okay. So, ganun pa rin naman po. Ini-intersect niya yung circle at one point. So, on the other hand, a second segment is a line segment whose One endpoint is on the circle while the other endpoint is outside the circle known as external second segment. However, the midpoint of this segment intersects the circle. Okay. So, yung second segment naman is, ang um, pinagkaiba niya sa second line is segment lang siya. Wala ding, wala ding arrowhead. And then, Part ng segment na yun is chord ng uh, circle. So, yung internal second segment is yung chord. And then, kapag nag-extend yung segment na yun, second segment sa labas, so, meron tayong tinatawag na external segment. Na kung saan, mer pwedeng magkaroon sila ng intersection ng isa pang segment. It's either tangent segment or another second segment. So, yung una nating... Uh, Uh, illustration is two tangent segments. So, dalawang tangent segments ang nakadraw sa circle. So, ito po yun. So, you can see, ayan, yung tangent segments po natin dito, GF and IF. So, ito yung una. Ito naman po yung pangalawa. 
And then, yung tangent segments na yan, meron po silang intersection point. So, external point na kung saan nag-meet sila, which is point F. Ayan po. So, again, line segment GF or tangent segment GF and IF are tangent segments. With a common interior for uh, exterior point or external point F. So, ayan. Next naman is two second segments. So, ayan. So, kung kapisado po natin yung second lines, ganun din naman po ang itsura ng uh, second segments. Wala nga lang pong arrowhead. So, ayan. So, yung second segments dito, i-label natin. So, ayan. Yung una, KO. Yung pangalawa naman is yung KP or OKPK. And then, yung mga uh, external second segment na sinasabi natin is ito. KL tsaka KM. Ito kasi yung mga nasa loob, LO tsaka MP, internal second segment yan. So, chord po yan ng circle. So, sulat lang natin. So, line segment OK and line segment PK are second segments. And then, uh, line segment LK and line segment MK are uh, external second segments. And then, yung line segment LO and line segment MP or OLPM are chords of the circle. Or, pwede rin namang uh, internal second segment. So, and then, we also have tangent second segments. So, nag intersect yung uh, isang tangent segment tsaka second segment dun sa external point. So, particular external or exterior point. So, ayan. So, let's identify the tangent segment. So, QS. So, line segment QS is a tangent segment. And then, line segment QU or UQ is a second segment. Yung dalawang uh, segments na yan, nag intersect sila dun sa common point nila na Q. So, yung point Q. So, label lang natin. Ito po yung tangent segment. Ito naman po yung second segment. And then, yung common point nila is yun, Q. So, yung next lesson natin, after natin ma-discuss yung illustration of tangents and seconds of circles, is theorems on tangents and seconds. So, particular, particularly yung angles formed by tangents and seconds. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.